morning YouTube. Uh, it is Tuesday, August 17th, and I am going into my classroom today and I'm very excited. Uh, first things first though, I need to finish my coffee and I also need to go get in a workout and then I'm gonna head to school. I don't plan to stay super long today. Dusty has an early afternoon. I'm gonna work on getting everything packed up. Go get my lift in. I will see you guys in a second. finished my workout it was a great workout today finally back in the groove with lifting and I'm now in my classroom and all of this stuff is still here so if you watched my last vlog you know that I have a bunch of stuff in my classroom that needs to get taken out and it's all still in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the hallway that way it's out of my room and I can continue to set up uh, everything that I put in the hallway on Thursday also still there so this is just it's gonna join it and They've got a couple weeks to get rid of it. I also want to finish what I started last week. So I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to show you what I was working on. So last week on Thursday, right before Dusty got here, I had gotten started on these bins. Uh, I actually want to shift them to this side, but tomorrow my co-teacher and I are going to go through these books and see what we want to keep, what we want to get rid of. Uh, so these are just going to live here for now. I do want to switch out these labels. I do have new labels for these uh, just to kind of brighten them up because I feel like they're very plain right now. And I changed the font and the color. I'm only going to spend probably two or three hours here today, but I'm going to continue to get rid of stuff and just try to get things organized. I have to get more bins for that shelf. So today I am definitely creating a list of things that I need to purchase in order to be ready. I have some more labels to print off and I want to get the labels put on these and things like that. That is the game plan for today. I'm going to jump right in it. My phone just to save my vlogging camera's battery life for today but I got my Alexa set up uh, so she's just tucked up on this supply shelf and I have the cable running like behind the mirror and it's plugged in down there so that's kind of the route that I want went and I am still madly in love hello with this affirmation station like I nailed this one pretty proud of this so I did post about this on Instagram and I got a ton of questions light on real quick. So I did not create the circle or the clip art that is from TPT and I have linked them down below. Uh, the issue is these, I think I've talked about this before. These are Amy Grossbeck fonts. They don't come with the, the wall decor. I think this is like the door decor package or something. I will link it in the description. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I came up with all of these And this one is at the top because it is something that I tell my students every single day. It is the most important thing that I want them to leave my classroom knowing. So I made sure to put that at the very, very top because I really want to kind of hit that hard. So this is the affirmation station. There's that. All right, I'm going to get back to work now that that's set up and I can listen to music. everything out of my classroom and I'll take it you and show you what I did that's the mess and in my classroom I got these bins done they look nice until you get to this one and then this one and then the rest of that but it's getting there uh, so all of these are finished and I was going to use these labels for the student supply shelf over there however one the shape is not exactly what I wanted and two 
Students are not going to be able to read that at a super quick glance, so I think I'm going to stick with my uh, Future Condensed that I typically use for labels. It is, actually, it's that font right there. That's what I'm going to put for the student supplies. Uh, if it's got that fancy font, that is Miss Morrow's, and they need to ask permission or I need to get it for them. So I think that's kind of the route that we're going to take. I got my desk set up in groups of four, and I'm also missing two desks. So right now I have 16 and I have a class of 18. I think my sixth grade is 18 and there's a possibility of one more enrolling in fifth, which would also put me in 18 for them as well. And then my teacher desk will remain here. Notice I'm trying to kind of keep the space free of everything that doesn't obviously go up there. I'm going to continue working on this guy and then we're, we're gonna go from there. I need water because I've had none. Thankfully, tomorrow my co-teacher is coming in. I think I've mentioned this already. My co-teacher is coming in and kind of peeking through things that I have, uh, which will free up a lot of shelf space. And then Thursday, my desk is being delivered, which means that Friday I can put it together. So uh, I'm not killing myself to get stuff done today. I'm just kind of taking it easy. Very chill day. Um, just kind of picking away at the little things and just trying to get straightened up. The mess is killing me, so I'm just trying to kind of pare down, like, what am I really going to need this year? What am I not going to need? And I'm also preparing for the event that we either have to social distance or go remote. And we're just kind of rolling with the punches. I'm going to get to work on this, and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm just gonna go with the black scalloped but I think I'm gonna turn the scalloped the other way I don't know <laughs> this is so hard so in the description down below let me know if you like the double border or if you like the single black obviously the scallop will face up so let me know which one you think I should do because I really am so torn and I've been staring at this for entirely too long and I don't know what to do anymore life update classroom update classroom setup update uh, i am going through boxes so i had a bunch of boxes and i didn't know what was in them so i decided that because i just bird just flew into my window because i wanted to kind of take it easy today i would go through these boxes so that's what i'm currently working on i am getting rid of anything that i haven't really used this year or last and that i didn't miss so obviously things were not used last year because of covid if it was something that like I realized that I really wished I had in my room it's saying if it's something that I didn't even realize that I still had it's going so I have been just kind of sorting things out into a yard sale box and trash box and keep box uh, just that way I can kind of get rid of some stuff I got rid of one whole box this is all stuff to keep and find a home for these are storage bins which I know I'm gonna need so they're not going anywhere this, oh, actually, no, I've emptied two boxes. I emptied this box and that one, and then this one is all yard sale stuff. This is all stuff that I also need to find a home for. I'm gonna get this cleaned up. My goal is to just have it look less crazy. Even if things are just thrown in boxes, at least it looks less ridiculous in here. That's kind of what I'm gonna work on. Oh, and I did empty another tote. So, I mean, things, things are happening. It just, it's the mess that's killing me. I hate how messy and gross and disorganized it looks, but like, guys, I got, it has to get worse before it gets better. So that's what I keep telling myself. So, all right, time to get back to work. Right, friends it is currently 405 and I'm kind of just wandering around picking up uh, putting things in their zones I guess you can call them like kind of where they're gonna go once I have everything that I need it's it's pretty it's rough in here but I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I've been picking away at I've gotten to the point where I'm just getting rid of things because I have about had it with clutter in my life between my house and school uh, I'm just I'm done so I've really pared down uh, but let me spin you around and show you the current state of disaster I don't 
know where this chair or yoga mats are going, but for right now, this is its home. Over here, still messy, but progress has been made. And then this pile. This pile is the go home pile. Some of it is yard sale, some of it is put away for future, some of it is save because it has like very sentimental meaning, um, just you know, certain letters. Kind of like a why I teach binder that people do. I have a why I teach box. So, uh, and that one is stuffed animals that I don't really think I'm gonna use this year for reading buddies. I do have one or two, but but yeah. Tomorrow, my co-teacher and I are going through these workbooks, all of these books, those workbooks, all of those books, and these. I'm gonna do a quick pan. sit in my big black chair so knowing how I am I will like sit here and just putz around my classroom and find something to do which usually results in me starting about 12 different projects and not finishing a single one of them which is typical but it seems to be more disastrous when I just don't want to be here doing something so I figured I'm gonna go home and do schoolwork at home I have a couple of labels that I need to print off and I was gonna print them here but we have a laser jet or yeah, we have a laser color printer and it's gonna be a different color than what I've already printed and I want everything to match, at least for that yellow. So, I have a list of those things. Um, I also, before I go, I need to measure the black bins on the student supply shelf, that way I can make labels for that. And then I just, I just need to chill. Thought someone was knocking. Our administrative offices are upstairs, so like sound travels down. Uh, and my school, obviously, I've only met a couple of people. They don't know that I vlog yet, so it's a matter of time until somebody walks in on me. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So I think I'm just gonna get cleaned up, get out of here. Probably not even gonna clean up, honestly. It looks better than when I came in, which is sad and scary, but I'm just in one of those moods today. This is gonna wrap up day three of setup and hopefully it'll be done by the end of this week. I really don't wanna, I wanna have a full week off next week before um, I have like, I have to be here. So we will see, but I'm gonna get out of here and I will catch you guys tomorrow. I've already gotten started. I didn't talk to you guys when I first got here because I've had people in my classroom. Uh, my secretary helped me decide on the double border. Curious if you guys agree. I'm gonna work on fixing the green at the bottom and then plug away at some more things. Oh, and good news, I got my window shade fixed, so yay! Alright, the double border is done. I don't know how I feel about it, but a decision has been made and we're going to run with it because I'm running out of time. That's what it's going to be like and because I can be ridiculous, we're going to pull out our Sharpies and we're going to go over them in Sharpie uh, just to kind of hide the silver just a little bit. Next, I'm going to work on finding a home for these things. I don't know if I want these like kind of staggered along the sides or I kind of could put some over here. We're gonna do this and then we're gonna move on. Water, Alexa play. These need to be sprayed. There is a major glare. I may have to take these home and spray them first, but I think this is where they're gonna go. So at least I have that figured out. I'm gonna get to hanging some stuff up over on this side of the room and get to knocking out that shelf uh, behind where my desk is going to be. My desk is being delivered tomorrow, yay! I'm so excited, I'm gonna have to build it, but I think it's really gonna kind of motivate me to get things done this week. Oh, I have two of the same one now. like it I don't know I don't love it they're gonna stay for now because you guys know my motto we're just doing what we can but I don't know if I love it I do think that needed something there I don't know if that's quite it but 
that's how it's going to be for now. I love the idea of like the staggered and quotes or something of that sort. I don't, I don't know. It's growing on me. I'm gonna have to think about it. Let me know the verdict, guys. Do we like them? Do we not like them? What are we thinking? All right, so I put my two stackable Sterilite bins. I know they're different colors. I bought them at different times. Uh, I did put them over on the shelf. So on this side, I have my daily bin. So this is where I put any of my handouts for the week. And I think I'm gonna do fifth and sixth together. And then I just, so what I've done in the past is I'll put them in the order that I need them. So whatever I have like first period, I will put right on top and it'll kind of go throughout the day. And then, this one, I think one's gonna be fifth and one's gonna be sixth for like grade, hand, back, uh, just because I'm gonna need some organization with that. I've been self-contained uh, for the last four years. My first year, I did, I was departmentalized, but in Alaska, we didn't have a ton of resources, so this didn't really, this wasn't a necessity. Uh, I think I'm gonna do, like I said, fifth copy or fifth grade, fifth hand out, and then one for sixth. Kind of what I'm leaning toward. And then I have my teacher toolbox up here. I do need to switch some of these out, but this is kind of just whatever for right now. This is gonna go on my desk when it gets here. My co-teacher is here. I saw her and I waved to her, but that's been the extent of our interaction so far, which is fine. We both have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm just gonna kind of continue plugging away at this shelf and see if I can get some things organized and just kind of go through some more stuff. Hello, long time no talk. I just finished my meeting with the fifth grade teacher. Well, now she's fifth and sixth grade, so my co-teacher. I think we're gonna work really well together. She's so friendly and helpful, and just we have the same kind of philosophies. We have the same about like classroom organization as well as like homework policies. Like we are gonna do so well together. Uh, we kind of went through some different books that we don't want or do want uh, and I learned that a lot of this is going which is good so I kind of have some direction I am currently sitting on the floor um, I'm kind of going through some books right now my goal is to get these done I've been loading up this cart and kind of wheeling them to my classroom library that way when I finish this I can go have lunch because I'm starting to get a little bit hungry it's currently 1240 we're gonna focus and well Apparently my camera's not gonna focus. I'm gonna focus on getting these books done, that way I can go eat lunch, and then we will tackle the next project. Last president in this book is Clinton. Why do we still have him? Oh no, I'm sorry, George W. Bush. You guys, look how old these books are. This has to be the 90s. 93. 1993. I was born in 90. This is from 93. <sighs> Hello, you guys. I'm going to sit and kind of update you while I eat lunch just because killing two birds with one stone. Uh, it is currently 1.15. I have been picking away at the built-in shelf, which is done. You guys, it's done. There's a bunch of like words their way and f &P stuff up there. I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna keep all of my teacher's manuals there. There's things that I may need to grab here and there. I'm gonna eat my lunch and then we are going to go back to working on the shelves and I also want to start putting things in the closet shelf because there's some stuff that I'm not, I don't wanna get rid of, but I also don't want it displayed out in the public just because it looks like clutter and it's just, there's no, don't judge me for this, but there's no pretty way to organize it. So it's kind of what I'm leaning toward. Um, I just bit my own finger. <laughs> I'm responsible for teaching the future of our country. something 
pretty cool. When I was in uh, elementary school, I was like a total nerd. I loved learning. Like if I got really good grades, my dad would take me to Toys R Us and buy me a gift. I bought a globe. That's what I bought. I could buy anything in the store and I bought a globe, okay? So kind of goes to show Tina loves to travel, total nerd, whatever. So magazine subscription that used to be out when I was a kid was Kids Discover. They looked like this. Uh, to put it into perspective, let me see if I can cover the address. This is from May 2001, and I have some that go all the way back to 1998. Why am I excited? Well, that's because I've held on to all of mine over the years because that's what I do. Uh, so all of these are mine. I've reinforced the spines, but I'm super excited because this classroom actually had a bunch of them so these are all mine but in here are a ton of these and i just think it is so cool because i had these like it's just awesome to me uh they do online like if you still have these online you can get curriculum and worksheets and activities and things like that to go with them so if you guys see these kicking around, they're actually pretty valuable. I've used them with my kids in the past and they really enjoyed it. I would make copies or I would kind of just use it to have talking points for myself or I would use their activities to kind of supplement what I'm already teaching from another curriculum. Uh, but I'm just really excited because you don't see these anymore. So uh, just a little funny, funny, funny thing. Teacher hub organization continues. I've never had a specified teacher area, but I'm excited for this. It is almost three and I've been plugging away. Ah, that's much better. Okay. So, uh, it's definitely not anywhere near done, but it's better than it was. And I'm going to show you kind of what I've done and what I'm thinking and plans moving forward. Once my desk arrives tomorrow and I build it on Friday. I pulled all of my mentor texts and just teacher books and I did put them in alphabetical order because honestly, like I have them, but I'll be completely honest, I don't really touch them. So uh, I just kind of did that just for like a fun little thing. They're there if I need them. This is going to go on my desk. Also probably going to go on my desk, unsure. Social studies curriculum, probably not staying because I purchased a lot of my own things. Those are my personal supplies like folders that I bought and dry erase pockets, but I don't know what I'm doing with them for right now. I need to find a home for these reinforcement dots. Reading and ELA curriculum, same thing over there. My bins, which I've already talked about, I'm gonna put tape and staple staplers up here. And then this one, I put paint down here. So all of my paints and then my watercolors, I put out, uh, I had another box of 12 watercolors and I put them over on the student supply shelf. I need to finish the labels for the bottom nine, but these are all done. I cleaned off the top of the shelf of everything except that globe. This whole side is mostly empty except that book, but it's all empty. And I have not moved all of these over. I moved over the first shelf and it seemed really cluttered. So I may just kind of keep that open. Uh, that may be something just filled in as I need it throughout the school year. I haven't really decided as you can tell. I'm going to get straightened up and I'm going to get out of here. I think after Friday, I'm going to try to condense it all into one video. After Friday's video, I am done vlogging my classroom setup because I want to do a classroom tour. And if you guys have watched every little gritty detail of classroom setup, the classroom tour is just redundant and it's not, it's just pointless. So yeah, we're going to get cleaned up. We're going to get out of here. Good morning, sweet friends. It is... Friday, August 20th, and I am loaded up and slowly making my way to school. Uh, first things first, I need to get gas because we like to live dangerously. We've got four miles till empty, mainly because I was too lazy to get it yesterday. I have to stop at Walmart to exchange some sheets that are in that bag, and I also, uh, I need to go get my lift in. So we're gonna go get those things done, and then we're gonna head to my classroom, and today will be the final setup vlog that I post for you guys. Uh, after this, there'll be a classroom tour. So let's go get this started. I have my desk back there and I'm so excited. I'm a little bit bummed, but I will explain to you why when I get to school.
we are at school and obviously I'm so excited. First, obviously today we are going to build my desk. I am uber excited. Uh, the one thing that I, I kind of mentioned earlier that there was something I was a little, a little sad about, uh, my, the box came damaged. Sad panda. But I think it's just like I can see the damaged desk through the hole in the box. But I think it's just one tiny little area. I did request a replacement. I'm going to build it today. And if the desk is fine and it's just that one tiny little spot, like I'm just going to suck it up and deal with it. Because to be completely honest, I don't feel like waiting for another one because I am that impatient. Anyway, we're going to jump right in it. Where is it? This is awkward. Oh, there it is. <laughs> We're gonna jump right in it and get to building. I'm gonna sit and build because I just came from the gym and deadlifted today and I'm exhausted. I'm gonna make some room. I'm gonna put you down. We're gonna build a desk. Also, I've been here. Wow, that's really crooked. Um, That's a little bit better. I've been here for all of about three minutes and I'm already hungry. But I was very upset with myself for being hungry and then I realized that I ate breakfast five hours ago. So I'm going to get the desk built and then I'm going to have lunch. That's going to be my reward. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I 12 years later. Wow, this is pretty synonymous with how I feel. 12 years later, the desk is built. So this is the desk and that is the damage that happened during shipping. Please excuse my nails. I need to get a manicure so bad. Um, so I'm just, I think, I don't know. I kind of wish I went with a lighter one given this wood. It definitely doesn't match, but whatever. It is what it is for like, I think it's $75. I'm not going to complain. It's super light. I like it. It's different. So I'm going to clean up this mess and get it positioned and then I'm going to eat lunch and then we're going to get to work. To just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun. I am still sitting at my desk because I'm in love. Uh, but I have been working while I've been eating. I've been more working than eating. Like I still have all of my rice sitting in the container. But anyway, I am going to show you what I've been working on. Uh, you guys know that I have these daily bins. So I was thinking of doing, I'm keeping Monday, Wednesday, or Monday, Wednesday. I'm keeping the daily bins. So all of the work for the week is gonna go in these. I was gonna do a fifth like file copy um, grade type thing. So fifth and then sixth. Something that I realized uh, pretty early on is that I don't love uh, file. I don't file a ton of things. I tend to keep um, digital copies of most things. So that didn't really work for me. And I was sitting here trying to think about it. And I'm like, I usually when I'm prepping things for the week, I am also prepping things to put out on the bulletin boards, whether it's the essential question or I or an I can statement or like a mini version of an anchor chart. So that's what I ended up doing. So I created our daily bins. I'm switching them out. This is the old one. I'm going with these just to match the rest of them. And then I have a, a fifth grade grade copy and display and then same thing for sixth grade copy and display. I think that's going to suit my needs more than file because like I said, I don't file things like if I have to file something, I'm not going to put it in a bin that screams file. Hey, I'm important. Put me away. I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Very good possibility. But I also need to do these labels. I'm not doing it today because it is literally the last thing on my list. But I had an aha moment at three o'clock in the morning because that's when I tend to have them. So I'm going to walk over to my bulletin board and kind of show you what I was thinking. I sprayed the anchor charts that I tried to hang up what was that Monday, Tuesday, whatever day it was. I sprayed them with the matte spray and I did a very, very light coat uh, just because honestly, kids are super hit or miss with looking at anchor charts. So if they want to look at them, they are there. And I also am not like, I don't care if kids get up and move. As long as I'm not in the middle of teaching, they can get up and move. Like my kids in Jersey quickly learned that I put very valuable things on our focus boards. And in the middle of independent practice, they would go look at them. That's what they are there for. I want kids to get up. I want them to move. I want them to interact with our room. I came to realization last night at three o'clock in the morning. This is why I stir all night. My boyfriend, I keep him up all night. I typically display things on our focus boards in these dry erase pockets. They're black border. I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking. I have two up there right now. 
I have one up there now. I realized that I live in Maine and as I print these off for the school year because I don't have everything for sixth grade because this is my first year teaching sixth, I don't have a way to spray them in the middle of winter. And I was like, plus I typically put them in dry erase pockets. Three o'clock aha moment. I think I'm going to try matte spraying these pouches, at least the ones that I use for just playing anchor charts because they're super like there's a crazy glare on them and this is what I'm gonna use and plus if I can reuse these and save money and turtles by not laminating things like that just seems worth it to me so I'm gonna take some of these home and try it this weekend and see how it goes crossing our fingers because if so I have like 20 of these that I can spray that way I can do all of our essential questions our I can statements any vocabulary etc all of that good stuff so um, I am gonna put these up just because I've already laminated them I'm going to use them but good news is I think I solved my I live in a very cold place and it snows all the time problem so problem that I didn't realize that I had guys the date cards are done and it's so much better with that matte spray I'm so excited so it's ready for the first day of school and then this these curtain rods suck uh, I think they put the weakest magnets possible in them but just for what I need I just need it off the ground uh, I just kind of rested it on the ledge and then hung it from here but for right now like that's going to be its home and that was the purpose of this was I would have all of these magnetic things over here instead of taking up room on my whiteboard. I got all of the labels on these bins. So this one is crooked and it's gonna drive me nuts, but whatever. Uh, so homeless crayons. I also opened some random boxes of crayons that weren't the 24s that I had. That way if a kid was like, hey, I need purple, like there's some fresh ones in there, uh, erasers. And then pencil grips will be in here. I have to go grab them out of the container, but that's where they will live. These supply bins are also labeled. I am loving how this is looking. I don't know. I didn't do this one because I don't know if that staying is like whiteboards and whiteboard supplies. And then this bulletin board is done for sixth grade. As far as the stone age, I still have to gather a couple things for fifth grade, but this is finished. My desk is a hot mess already, and this table is still a mess. Classroom library is looking better, and then I made a mess over here. It's currently 4.15. I'm going to see how much more I can pick away at. My goal really is just to get that area situated, so I'm going to work on that and stop getting distracted by other things, but uh, we'll see how that goes. You guys, this was the hardest <laughs> bulletin board I've ever done. So it's like recessed in here and trying to get my stapler all up in those corners was impossible, but it's done. So I'm gonna go over with the staples with the black Sharpie because you guys know how I am, I'm extra like that. I moved this tall shelf over here. After looking at like the weight capacity and somebody had even commented saying that it was starting to like bow with their third graders. I have fifth and sixth graders and this also solved my problem of where I was going to put my turn-in bins. So for right now, this is like their turn-in bin stations. I need to make labels. Um, I'm going to do fifth grade, sixth grade, and then this one's going to be teacher, like for my homeroom type stuff. And this is just going to get tucked right here in this little corner. I got this bulletin board done. So things are moving along. Hello friends, long time no talk. I am a sweaty, gross mess and I am starting to get packed up to get out of here because it is so hot. I'm like grossly uncomfortable and it's currently 5.45. So 
I'm gonna spin this around and show you what I've gotten to so far today since I last talked to you. And to keep in mind, my classroom is nowhere near finished, but the next vlog that you'll see about my classroom is going to be a classroom tour showing you the final product, where I purchased everything, the purpose of everything, and all of those good things. I am going to show you, like I said, what I got to today, and then I'm going to work on some lesson planning. Now that I have my desk set up, I can kind of come in and get things planned and prepped and ready to go. So obviously the biggest thing about today was getting my desk built. Super excited about this. It's still a little messy behind here. We got this bulletin board done. Like I said, it was a total pain in the butt. Affirmation station. And then we got all of these labels done today. I might put a pencils label on here, but I kind of just like how simple and clean it looks. So I'm not really sure that goes there. And then I got all of the labels on the student supply bins. I moved the calyx that I intended to use as a bench over here just because I am worried about the weight limit. I have my Ikea frame up here that just says stop, highlight your name and number, and then their bins. I got this bulletin board done. I got the date cards up and ready for the first day of school. I got this anchor chart paper up, nothing done over there. I got that organized yet messy again so I'm not really sure what's going to go on over there and then the rest of the room is still a chaotic mess. Before I leave I am going to snap some photos uh, that way I can post some pictures on Instagram. I am working on being much more active on Instagram. If you guys follow me already you'll notice that I've been posting far more than I ever have in the past. So if you guys want to be sure to give me a follow on Instagram that way you don't miss any posts. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my classroom tour.